Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Power of Better. I'm Elbert Walters III, Executive Director of Power in Chicago. We're here at the Algonquin Wastewater Treatment Facility, where pollutants are extracted from the contaminated water so that the purified water can be pumped into the nearby Fox River. It's a demanding but delicate job that requires high functioning electrical systems, which need constant maintenance and the latest in tool technologies and code compliance for the equipment to perform efficiently and effectively. Algonquin is an example of one village that turned to a trusted Powering Chicago signatory contractor whose expertly trained electricians delivered this specialized service with precision. Just minutes away from the picturesque village of Algonquin along the Fox River sits the Algonquin Wastewater Treatment Facility. It's a site where few know what actually goes on and perhaps fewer would want to know. However, it is vital for the environmental health of this entire community. I think this is the facility that no one really thinks about, but if it were to stop working, it would become a pretty big problem for everyone immediately. Putting it in perspective, three to four million gallons of wastewater enter into the facility per day. Through a series of basins and other equipment, the waste from the water is separated, the biological nutrients are removed, and the water is then purified and disinfected before being released into the Fox River. Tom Hall is Algonquin's chief wastewater operator, who was looking for increased reliability when it comes to the facility's electrical infrastructure. We had an electrical component within our pump control panel that had failed due to loosening of the feed wires into that transformers. Which is why Hall was in need of a contractor that could examine the entire system. His choice, Harring Chicago contractor Jamerson and Bowens that used its advanced infrared technology to go to each electrical room and scan for any potential hotspots and unbalanced loads. So our guys are using not just infrared technology, we're also using ultrasonic technology. So before we even open up the panels or anything like that, our guys are scanning the panels to make sure that if there's any anomalies or anything behind the panels, they're listening for it. So it's the safety for our guys is imperative. In addition to the safety focus, Jamerson and Bowens was also able to make sure this wastewater plant was up to code on the latest National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA, 70B electrical code requirements. And we teach them what needs to be done and what needs to be repaired. And that builds a relationship and a trust between us and our technicians that we can take care of them moving forward and repair those anomalies and de-energize their equipment and maintain that also. On this day, the Algonquin Wastewater Treatment Facility passed its test. Having state-of-the-art proactive maintenance is a win-win for everyone because the alternative is not acceptable. It's a health and safety concern. If you don't have wastewater treatment, your waste is going into the river. That waterway makes its way to the Gulf of Mexico eventually. So it's a health and safety of everyone involved. Do the IR scanning every year and see where your equipment is at. So being proactive is much smarter and economically better for them than doing being reactive. We got to make sure the technology is up to speed and that the facility runs flawlessly so that what we're putting back in the river is better quality than what's currently in the river. We'd like to thank the village of Algonquin for sharing how incorporating maintenance and cold compliance ensures a safer environment for the Fox River and their community. We'd also like to thank Jamerson and Bowen for demonstrating how their expertise in leveraging technology can assist governments to stay compliant. That's another edition of The Power of Better. I'm Elbert Walters III, and for everyone here at Powering Chicago, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.